you got to build a better you. Why? Because your life is based on you being you. And you can't act like nobody else. So if you don't like the results you're getting, you got to build a better you. So if you want more, we got to get more features built in you. When you buy any kind of appliance, the more features, the more expenses it is. If you want to be more valuable, you got to have more features. Do you hear me? I need you to get your hard hat on and think like a builder and think like a general contractor. Why? Because we got to get you under construction. You are officially under construction. Every now and then you got to look in that mirror and say, you know what? My bad. My fault. My mistake. You got to have goals that take you to the brink. You are about to remodel you. You are about to rebuild you. A better version of you. Ain't nothing wrong with you, but we got to get you better. And there's nothing wrong with you, but you got to improve. Some people are building. Some people need to fix things. In many cases, they're picking up raw materials so they can go and make repair. What do you need to build a better you? What do you need as you rebuild you? What do you need? You are the architect. I'm tired of you blaming your mama. I'm tired of you blaming your daddy. Some people blame their city. Some people blame their neighborhood. Some people go all the way back to third grade and blame their school, their teacher, their principal. Blame the lunchroom lady. Blame the bus driver. Blame your industry. Blame your boss for you to be able to reach your potential. Accountability. You got to get a lot of that to be a better you. You got to have that feature built in. What do you need to be a better you? You are in charge. Now, I want to give a little checklist for you right now, because if you don't have this on your checklist, we got to run and get it and build it in you. It's got to become a feature. How about your work ethic? Do you need some work ethic? I've never seen a person get paid. I've never seen a person get respected who was lazy, who didn't have work ethic. Do you need to go and get the raw material work ethic? Sometimes you can just outwork people. The best part about work ethic, you can overwhelm mistakes. You go make mistakes, but with work ethic, you can overwhelm them. How about this one? Accountability. Yep. You need some accountability. What? If you are not accountable, we got to put something in your cart. We got to make that a feature. Accountability is tough for most people. Always trying to blame somebody else, some other circumstances. Whatever it is, it's not your fault. We got to build accountability. It's the only way you can get better. It's the only way you can get stronger. It's the only way you can improve. Every now and then, you got to look in that mirror and say, you know what? My bad. My fault, my mistake. How about a real goal? How about a goal? How about throwing that into the cart? A real goal, a concrete goal that creates pressure. You can't create goals that don't create pressure. You gotta create goals that push you, that drive you, that make you wanna work hard. You gotta have goals that take you to the brink because that's the only way you can build a better you. You gotta have something you're shooting for. You gotta have something you're striving for. When's the last time you set a goal that put pressure on you? Here's what we can't have in your cart. If it's in your cart, put it back. Excuses, no, return that. Can't have no excuses. Where's your receipt? You gotta have you a cart that has no excuses in it. If you wanna build a better you, stop making excuses and letting yourself off the hook. Take it back to the store. We don't need that raw material. Excuses are common, but you're trying to do something uncommon so you can't have excuses. Negativity? Take that back to the store. We don't need that. Where's your receipt? Turn it back in. Entitlement? Matter of fact, don't even take entitlement back. Don't even return that to the store. That's a raw material that's no good. Entitled. Somebody owe you. Don't nobody owe you anything. Throw that away, matter of fact. It's no good. It's spoiled. Get rid of it. Nobody wants entitlement. Nobody owes you a thing. How about skill set? Grab some of that. 
<laughs> if you want to really get paid, get the best money can buy. Why don't you upgrade skill set? Get some high end skill set. Can I ask you a question? You trying to make it happen? Can I ask you a question? We got to build a better you, but I got to ask you a tough question. What are you good at? What are you good at? What are you an expert in? You are fooling yourself to think you're about to make it happen. You are fooling yourself to think you're about to get paid. You are fooling yourself to think you're going to get some respect. And you ain't an expert in nothing. Go to the store and get that raw material called expertise. Throw that in the cart. Get as many as you can. Fill up the cart. Take them all because you got to become an expert. You trying to get paid? You trying to get promoted? You trying to be great? You got to be an expert in something. How are you? Protecting you. You can't hang around people that got nothing to lose. You can't hang around people that don't have the same standards. You can't hang around people with a different value system. You can't do it, my friend. It will never work. And sometimes you feel guilty. Oh, man, I grew up with him. I grew up with her. We go way back. I get it. I'm not telling you to totally cut people off, but some people you see every day. Some people you see every month. Some people you see once a year. And some people you see them when you see them. As we rebuild a better you, you got to protect yourself. You got to be careful who you let inside your construction site. The only people who are allowed on your own personal construction site are skilled and they offer value to the construction. See, you need encouragers around you as you are under construction. You need people that believe in you around you. As you are under construction, you need people who are honest with you, not afraid to tell you the truth. As you are under construction, the worst thing you can do is have someone close to you who's not in your corner. The worst thing you can do is have someone close to you who don't even want you to win, who don't even want you to succeed. you got to build a hedge of protection around you. And the only people who get inside your gate are those who are qualified Whoa! as you build a better you. What do we need to do to get you in a better position? What is your spot? Where is your spot? As we build a better you, when we get finished with the final construction and put all these features in you like hard work, all these features in you like accountability, all these features in you like being relentless, don't be afraid to change your environment. Don't be afraid to change your crew. You are becoming the right person. But the worst thing you can do is not to put this better you into a prime location. So after we get you built, my friend, all I want you to do is think about location, location, location. Where do I need to position me so that I can become all that I can be? Where do I need to position me so that I can thrive? Every woman, every man has their promised land where they can prosper. But once you get to your spot, you got to lock in. Once you get to your spot, you got to get focused. Once you get to your spot, you got to get stable. Once you get to your spot, you can't move it. I played basketball all my life until I was 31. When my career ended, I moved my tree from the basketball industry and I moved my tree into the training and development industry and I've been in my spot for 19 years. And in that spot I've grown. In that spot I've developed. In that spot I've reached my potential. Now we're growing branches. These branches are getting so big, they're almost as large as a trunk. But you got to get into your spots because as you build a better you, your whole world will shift. Build a better you and all types of possibilities are available to you. Get under construction, my friend. Build a better you with all kind of features. And once you get planted, my friend, all you're going to do is flourish. Once you get planted, my friend, 
All you're going to do is win.